Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to allow custom font uploads in Divi. So if you're getting that error when you're trying to upload a font and it says it's unsupported, um, I'm gonna show you how you can allow that to be uploaded and use those fonts that are like um, Woof fonts and Woof2 fonts, or I don't know, maybe there's other custom fonts, but those specifically will be allowed with this method. So I'm going to show you how to do this with a code snippet as well as with a simple setting in our Divi Assistant plugin. All right, let's get into this. I have the tutorial here. Um, you can follow along you know, with the guide. Here's a screenshot. In fact, let me go replicate that live here in the builder. So I have a text module. I would like you know, to use a different font. So I come in here and say text font upload and I'm going to go choose something that I know is not going to be allowed. All right, there you go. You can see I'm trying to upload something here and it says unsupported file format, supported file formats, TTF, OTF. Well, I know that I tried to upload a WOFF, a WOOF font. All right, so now what, right? Well, here's a couple of things we can do. In fact, let me show you, well, Okay, let me tell you why it happens. It's, it's a security thing. So with WordPress, you know, our, our content management system that is running here on Divi is actually blocking it. It's doing it because it's just a default setting. Um, there, there are things that, you know, hackers can do. And so it thinks it's best to just kind of make that wall, that gate and say, no, we're not allowing them. Now, of course, if you want to upload them, you can. It's nothing wrong with doing that. It's completely safe. I would just say, if you're going to do it, maybe you could just turn that setting back off or remove the code after it's uploaded. Um, so it's really just about that process of uploading. It's the same with SVGs. Uh, we have other tutorials on how we've added that setting um, in our plugin in Divi Assistant or with PHP code. And it's kind of one of those things where you can enable it and then upload and then disable it. Or, or with our, our setting, we actually have a setting where it does it temporarily. Um, and then as soon as it's uploaded, it turns it back off. So it's like as probably the most secure thing you can get. That's what you could do here as well if you're worried about it. Um, so the next thing to consider is whether you're going to use the code snippet that I'm going to show you or the plugin. Either way, back here, like where you saw this, it's now going to say something like, this supported file formats and then you can see there see it says WOFF WOFF2 okay so once we do this that's what it's going to say and it's going to allow you to upload those if you want to use the code snippet here is the code now this is PHP be very careful when you're using PHP in general um, it's just the core code of your website and um, messing something up could cause problems. Here I have instructions. Um, you could put it in a child theme in the functions.php file, or you could use a code snippet plugin. Here you can copy the code. You can take that code, go over to your child theme or your code snippet plugin and paste it. And as soon as you upload a font, it's going to allow it like that. But I'd like to show you an even easier way. If you're interested, you can use either one you choose. But if you have Divi Assistant, go ahead and check out this setting. So in the back end, I'm gonna to go to Divi Assistant. And we actually have a font helper here among all of our helpers. Right here it is, enable additional font file type uploads. And you can read about that and enable it. There you go, let's, let's just enable that and now watch this. First, I'll refresh this page. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing that I did before and click upload. And you can actually see right here, look at this, supported file formats. It already has the extra ones allowed. Let's see, I need to choose that. And there you go. See, it says selected font files. And now I can click upload. Oops, I got to name it. I'm going to name it Plato and upload. And there you go. It's set. Now you know how to upload custom fonts and get around that unsupported message. We hope you like that. And if you do, you can follow along, subscribe, um, 
share it if you see this come up in any of the online forums and we appreciate it. Thank you for your support. See you in the next video.